Hi everyone, this is Lauren with Triple C. In this video, we will talk about configuring Triple C Direct settings. Please note that ahead of using Triple C Direct, you will need to purchase this add-on feature and have an active online payment integration as well. For more information, please reach out to our support team. Configuration is where we will set basic guidelines and rules for our Triple C Direct events. We can come back to adjust these at any time. The first step is to set minimum and maximum event durations. We do not want our guests booking for events less than two hours or exceeding four hours for both on-premise or full service catered events. Here, I will enter the amounts for each event style and note that I can set different amounts if desired. Lead time limits indicate how far in advance our guests can book an event using Triple C Direct. The number entered is set in days. For example, my team requires one week's notice for on-premise events. Note that today registers as one day, so I will enter in eight to ensure that the earliest my guests can directly book an event with us is one week from today. If I have the flexibility for guests to book further out with us, perhaps up to six months in advance, I can indicate that here as well. Guests can now directly book an event as soon as a week from now or up to six months out. Next, set what billing details should apply to Triple C Direct events. For accounts with multiple locations, check off all pertinent billing details. When an inquiry is submitted, the system will recognize the location selected and apply the correct billing details. If any of my locations charge a room rental fee for on-premise events, I will indicate that here. Next, I will select which billing details to apply to the room rental fee. We will set the deposit for Triple C Direct events, which is a percentage of the grand total. Each event style can have a different deposit amount. Note that we can also require the full payment due upon booking for each event style. If enabled, the deposit will automatically show as 100%. We likely have some dates on our calendar where we cannot accept any Triple C Direct inquiries across all locations in our account. An excellent example of this is a holiday. Blackout dates is where we can set the dates that should block availability for the entire day and our guests will not be able to book an event for this day. Finally, I will click save. Keep in mind that all of the settings on this configuration page will apply to all locations within our Triple Seat account. Next, we will set the hours of availability for each location in our account by clicking on the Hours tab. If our account has multiple locations, we will select our location from the drop-down on the left. Now we can set the hours that Millie's Restaurant will be available to book on Triple Seat Direct. We can break this out by day of the week and even add multiple availability blocks. This option is great for me as Millie's closes between four and five to prep for dinner. As a reminder, blackout dates will block availability for all locations in our account and hours will set availability for each location. If we need to block a specific room or event style from being booked through Triple C Direct, we would want to use a calendar note to do so. If our location offers delivery or full service offsite catering, we have the option to set a delivery radius for these inquiries. We will head into settings and locations and click edit details to set this radius. The radius is entered under event styles and set in miles. Once saved, when our customer is submitting an inquiry for a delivery or full service catered event, their address will need to be within the set radius to submit. If the delivery or event address is outside of the radius, an error message will populate and the guest cannot move forward. This will save us time as we will not need to turn down anyone for being too far away. Back in our Triple C Direct settings, let's click on the Rental Fees tab. Here we can set the rental fee rate per location and per room for our on-premise events. I can also select if our room rental is going to be an hourly rate or a flat rate. Millie's has a flat rate of $500 for events booked between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Sundays, 
but a flat rate of $750 for events booked between 4 p.m. and 11 p.m. We can set that here. We will repeat this for each day of the week using the copy button when applicable. And finally, we will set the room rental rates for the rest of the rooms. Now, when our customer chooses their room for their on-premise event using Triple C Direct, the rental fee selected will automatically add to their event as a charge. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this feature or would like to add it to your Triple Seat account, please reach out to the support team by clicking the help question button in the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.